and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Twisted Zigs. This is going to be a Plunder Zigs deck. Um, yeah, that's right. I put in you know Zigs together with some Plunder stuff from Bilgewater with the thinking that whenever Zigs attacks, you get to do one to the Nexus. And of course, if it's leveled up, you're doing two to the Nexus. But either way, you're, you're dealing damage to the Nexus. You're enabling Plunder with that. So then we can have like Zigs attack, Citrus Courier attack again. We have Riptide Rex, Monster Harpoon, that kind of stuff. So that's our thinking here, um, you know, with the viewer submitted deck. We're going to have some nab cards in here as well. Black Market Merchant, Pilfered Goods. So we can take our opponent's cards, try them out. Uh, we'll have pretty good removal, honestly, with, you know, three mana removal with the combination of Ride of the Arcane and Monster Harpoon. We can kill a lot of stuff for three mana with those two cards. Endless Devout is just an incredible card. We saw that just playing against these different landmark decks in our last uh, deck that we play with the Maokai Quinn Endless Devout is that's a really hard card to beat. So this is a card that we want in our opener for sure. And besides that, you know, got kind of a you know just a bunch of good stuff. So let's give it a try. Let's play some Twisted Zigs. We're heading on over to normal. With our plundering Zigs deck. All right, we got another Twisted Fate deck. This is probably a Casino deck. It's been a while since we played against Casino, Twisted Fate, and Jinx together. But since we're playing Twisted Fate, we get paired against Twisted Fate. That's how it works. Maybe we just keep that too. Maybe we just keep all this. You know, either we, like, make it rain early if they're, like, going wide with one health things. If not, we just kind of chill. We can save up three spell mana, go, like, Devout on three... Twisted Fate red card on four, plus Harpoon. You know, we got some options. Okay, we're gonna save spell mana. Play the best card in the game, Endless Devout. Alright, enabled plunder the easy way. So we can go ahead and kind of do this little combination here. Uh, maybe I should be saving that as spell mana instead of playing the Rock Hopper. So I feel like we're not going to get very good value out of this Roiling Sands. I, sh I should probably just be discarding the Rock Hopper to the Zonite Urchin. Okay, so now we could probably discard a naturalist. We probably don't need two naturalists. But I like the first naturalist blowing up the sarcophagus. Hey, ghost. Hope you're having a good one. Deal me in. You may think that was a bad make it rain, but that's actually a great make it rain if they have Twisted Fate and they just go red card. Now they get to kill the, the Rock Hopper also. That could be a great uh, one for them. But yeah, that's that's a card they'd have to be worried about, though, in that case. Is that Rolling Sands? They don't want Twisted Fate into the Rolling Sands? They go red card. This thing's looking kind of close. 
Ooh. That's not great. Good, make it rain. Never lost a fair game. Look like a soak it in. Go ahead and draw. Cool, cool, good draw. A game. Go on that. Watch the ball, folks. Your cards are pretty nice, opponent. Thank you very much for for having. Thank you very much for them. Where do you stand on cold shots? Oh, Citrus Courier. The strong don't want mercy. Oh no. I wanted you know, I obviously wanted to hit the Nexus. For the Citrus Courier. The weak don't deserve mercy. Who need me? That's too bad. So just got a generic four five. Instead of heal Nexus four. Or heal Nexus three and Attack again. Yeah, you can naturalist preservarium sometimes. Um, I am not planning on doing that, but that is definitely something we can do sometimes. Looks like trouble. The dead don't need riches. Send them to the drink. Yeah, they don't really have good attacks. I want one of these things to hit them so we get to Riptide Rex. Wait a minute. Thank you, a looker. But I guess they won't. Naturalist and Ziggs. If it was important, they should have built it better. Ugh, this girl is My best draw is Twisted Fate, red card. Another day, another but we're looking good as long as they don't draw something spectacular. Right, like if they draw like they needed like a draw two, right? Like they draw like a salvage. Something that draws two. That's how we're gonna be in trouble. Should be able to end the game from here. I can't wait to see what this one does. They're down to four. Let's see what we got. Okay, I think that puts them down to one. Yeah, but they surrendered. All right, cool. We'll take the win. They weren't necessarily dead. Like, if they had another, you know, discard, make... Two, three, one elusives again, right? And then so like next round they attack for six elusive, and then they just need like a mystic shot. 
Maybe they could have had that. I don't know what else was in their deck, though. Darkness Control. Man, Pilfer Good seems awesome against Darkness, but we gotta be able to enable Nab. But doesn't it... it man, it seems awesome, though, because they probably have, like, great, great cards to Nab. But the thing is, is, like, the Twisted Catalyzer, 2 mana, 3, 2, you have to have stuff available for the Twisted Catalyzer. I'll keep one of these, and we will mute our opponent that wants to be muted. Okay, we found something for the Catalyzer, the Jagged Butcher. Pretty rough spot. would have been a lot better to have a lot earlier. There's a lot of darkness out there. Let's make some of our own. Hey, so that was the saddest Desert Naturalist ever. This has been... This has been one of the saddest games ever, for sure. Definitely been one of the saddest games ever. Ready to fire. Bad. What I'm hanging my hat on is that they only have three cards. Hopefully those three cards aren't that good. If we can find anything to enable plunder. Anything. We can have a game. Alright, so all their darknesses are free now. My board. This is awesome. We need a warning shot, but we don't have a warning shot. Guns 
beneath me and winds behind me. Yes, we found Ziggs. Getting dark. Still looks pretty, pretty bad for us. Darkness and light. I will run you over. Alright, so it turns out if our deck can't turn on plunder and you only draw the plunder cards, that's not a good combination. Turns out it's not a good combination. One on one. Yeah, we need those pokey sticks. Alright, so we've really struggled with these landmark decks today. However... Yeah. Man, Black Market Merchant could be so good if it works. However, we... The card that we've really struggled against is... Um, endless Devout, and we are also an Endless Devout deck. Plus, we have Desert Naturalist, who can blow up some landmarks. So maybe our deck can't actually enable plunder effort. Okay, this this could work. My name will echo through the ages. This could actually work. We got it set up. One for you and one for you. There we go. That's plunder. Oh, uh, that's bad. The oasis of the dawn flows again. I'm always up for a round or two. So get rid of the spell shield on them. Doesn't get rid of the spell shield on the buried sun disk. Arise. This to your bill. You're bluffing. Light the fuse. I can't wait to see what this one does! No, 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 no! I never dispelled my sources. Man. Is this... to an enemy unit? Why do they have to write the word enemy on there? Why can't we just kill our own units? Basically because they took away my landmark and I really don't want to destroy mana gem whenever we're sitting with Riptide Rexes. Let's 
Well, that worked out very well. Our desert naturalist. All of this is ours. Alright, we're gonna have to destroy one of our mana gems also. I need to get rid of this Aerith before it levels up. It's about to level up. I don't level enough for that Sun Disk. But that's too bad we don't get to Riptide Rex. That's how it is. Is this even a good attack? I go, I go. Not in my city. My board. No. Let me hear you call our emperor's name. Jeremus, okay, so I just have those two champions. Yeah, it's just not a good enough attack with the Cit Citrus Courier. That was a good card to draw. Desert Naturalist, Desert Naturalist. Man, we really do need to be able to turn on Plunder better than what we can. That's what's definitely holding us back. Greater things await! It is time! Arise! Drown in our tears! You know they have another champion in hand. We can assume that they have a second Azir in hand, considering it, they didn't play like a Zareth. Gotta trust your instincts. I don't know what my instincts are telling me. Nah. I mean, we could keep Twisted Fate alive. I also want to get rid of 
cards from them. Like blockers and stuff. I guess I have I guess I had the shape stone that could be kept it alive. This card has to be Azir in hand. It's either Azir or Zareth. I think it has to be Azir. I'm down to five. Azir, so Azir has eight health. So one, two, three, four. I was gonna Citrus Courier, like if they play Azir, because Riptide Rex went in the game, so I was gonna Citrus Courier and attack with them playing. They played that so they could go grab Zareth, so that Zareth then could uh, level up the Sun Disk. Okay, figured it out. We beat the Landmark deck, because we're, we're also a Landmark deck, but Pilfer Goods was great for us. That's not a bad bad plan though. Also, Gamma said if we would if we keep Pilfer Goods, wait for them to get the Emperor's deck and then grab that awesome uh, Ascendant's Call card at the bottom of the deck. That's not a bad plan either. All right, let's definitely keep these Mega Rains because they can enable Plunder. We're keeping Naturalist to blow up some landmark. It's a great part about Endless Devout, though. You know, like, Endless Devout, you get the 5-3 whenever it gets destroyed, so you can't even, like, stop them from getting the 5-3. Uh, I don't know when the next patch update is coming out. I'm not sure. Alright, so we're gonna save spell mana. Would you look at this place? Alright, not a bad Mega Rain. Get some plunder enabled. Yeah, more than detail for that. Some Tuesday, not far off in the future. Exactly. It could be next Tuesday, it could be the Tuesday after, it could be the Tuesday after that. I'm not sure. I agree, it's not far off in the future, though. This card's unbeatable. Man, that card's unbeatable. That's why we won the last games because we had more endless devouts than our opponent. But now they have an endless devout and we don't.
Well, GG's, I suppose. Landmark decks are tough. So I can make it rain and then play Citrus Courier. That plan doesn't seem that great. Yeah, it still gives on the unit if we destroy the sarcophagus. That's why... This is why Enlist Devout is the best card in the game. Landmark decks are looking amazing today. The Herald of the Magus card is exactly like that in Endless Devout. Endless Devout, Herald of the Magus. Man, those makes those decks so hard to beat. Alright, we got Senna Timo. Keep these two. No, you don't get any specific diff uh, rewards for defeating Victor at legendary difficulty. It's, you know, just a challenge that you try to do. You know, see if you can, that kind of stuff. But you get... You get a lot of XP for playing the labs. You get a lot more XP than playing, like, in ranked uh, for playing the labs. So that's kind of the, uh, you know, reward. You know, quote-unquote rewards. That's what you get is you get a lot of XP for, you know, leveling up your regional rewards and stuff like that. There's a problem, like always. Wish I was able to pilfer goods while having the nab enabled right now. 
my pretty Too bad they got a new peddler. Oh, Riptide Rex, you're kind of too expensive. Try to kill this peddler. All right, we got that one dead. That's good. That's good. No. Ooh. That's great. They of course just play any spell and it'll level up. Oh wow, they don't have a spell. If they had any spell, it would level up the Teemo. But those were just awesome nabs. We got three very good cards against them. Yay. But our stuff did it. You dropped something. I dropped everything! They're going to rekindle her the Teemo. Desert Naturalist. Where you at? Okay, so not killing the best one. Jagged Butcher dying? Goes to a good call. So Plunder is not a... Um, it's not a summon ability. So like Miss Call doesn't help with the Plunder. Man, we are drawing all of our buff caps. We don't actually have that many buff caps. Alright, this is Ruination time. Save the spell mana. What's up, Ziggs? You're not actually at zero, are you? Okay, at three. Okay, we're gonna want to Riptide Rex. No. Yeah, this wasn't a very good miss call. I we can get better miss calls than that. This will be a blast. And you gotta take out a blocker.
I don't, even, don't know how many blockers they'll actually have. down to two. Bounty knows me. I'll put him down to zero. Hmm. Right, we'll do this. So that would have been a better miscall because we knew, knew for sure what we were hitting. Alright, so we got a Mystic Shot to enable Riptide Rex. For the win. Oh, enabling Citrus Courier is not bad either. We could go either way. How do we want to win? Riptide Rex or Citrus Courier? Okay, so it looks like Citrus Courier. Riptide Rex doesn't win anymore. Told you we'd have a better miss call. <laughs> there we go. Better miss call. Three and two. That was a good game. That, that game. Oh, I'll see it here. Yeah, that, that game, our plunders were awesome. Plunder was MVP. Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods, definitely MVPs. We got some great, great plunders from them. Um, that, yeah, that, that's what won us that game, <laughs> where our, our plunders were incredible, um, in that one. Alright, so there we go, that was combining Ziggs with some plunder cards, kind of showed off, the plunders actually looked good when we, like the nabs, nabbed looked really good when we were able to, um, actually nab, the nabs looked really good, Endless Devout, of course, always awesome, you know, we ran into some landmark decks that are unbeatable, we, we learned that today, that, if your opponent casts Endless Devout, you can't win. But we won like all the games that we cast Endless Devout, and our opponent didn't. So I think that's what we learned. This is the best card in the game. Um, I th but besides that, um, you know, Monster Harpoon looked good. Yeah, like just getting getting Plunder enabled. And then we had Monster Harpoon, Ride of the Arcane, good removal. And Black Market Merchant, Pilfer Goods definitely looked good as well. So our Mega Reigns and our Ziggs definitely overperformed because they were... You know, enabling plunder for us. All right, there we go. That's Twisted Ziggs. Uh, different, different little deck here, and you know, not too bad, not too shabby. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always, leave those comments. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed it. We were just playing so many different, unique decks here. Hopefully, y'all are enjoying all the variety. But that's gonna be it here for Twisted Ziggs. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.